Summarization is one of the most important application of natural language processing and that's what we're gonna learn today what exactly the summarization is let's say you have this big document and if you want to summarize it in shortest form something like this right so that's what we do using summarization how are we gonna do this so for this purpose we're gonna use the hugging face library and it provides us one transformer using which we're gonna do the summarization hello everybody welcome to the channel let me just give you one brief idea about it so in the previous video we learned this is the data which we have on web and how how can we get this data into python without doing much of the web scrapping without doing the web scrapping so we saw in the previous uh, uh, previous video we have this data on the wikipedia and we pulled it like this right and in this video what we're gonna do is this big document what is this big document right what is it that actually it want to say and we want to go we we want we are going to summarize that something like this right so you see over here so that's what we're gonna learn today all right so let's start without wasting much of the time so to do this thing we require these two libraries so we must have these two libraries installed first one is tensorflow how can you have the tensorflow installed in your machine so let's say if you are using the anaconda distribution then what you can do, you can open the anaconda distribution go into the environment and the environment which you have this is the base environment which by default is created when you download and set up anaconda in your machine okay so and in the list of installed packages what you can do is you can try to find out where if if you have tensorflow already installed or not let's just see uh tensor tensorflow we, we already have it installed right you see over here same way you need to also ensure if you have keras installed or not you see it is already there so once you are done validating it then you are good uh, if it is already there then it is good if not if not then what you can do is you can install that right uh, you you can choose not installed and over here you will get the uh, libraries like tensorflow and whatever it is right what you can do is you can just select that and then you can apply right that will be done if the, it doesn't work in the same environment what you can do is you can create another environment the way i have created it over here tensorflow right so same fashion in the same fashion you can create the another one as well all right so this is how you can install this even if that does not work then what you can do is you can um, you know you on the on the youtube there are many other videos which provides you a very good solution uh, a, a very good guide how you can install that i highly recommend you to refer any one of them it, there, there are penalty of videos for that thing okay so considering you are done with installing the tensorflow if you face installing if you face any issue uh, installing tensorflow do let me know into the comment section i'll try to help you out then the next thing which comes you uh, which you require to install is transformers how can you install that it is very simple to install transformers what you can do is just say pip install transformation so when you say pip make sure that in the beginning you are putting this exclamation sign right pip install transformer once you are done with that then you are all set to go ahead so all that you need to do is import that import tensorflow it's taking a bit of time let's just take it some tensorflow as tf you can say and then the next thing which we require to import is from transformer import pipeline pipeline all right so let's just import complete this well now we are done with importing the pipeline next thing which we need to do is create a object right so let's say some object 
and into that we gonna use pipeline pipeline and into that you need to say rigation okay so this object will be created is it will just take few moment right and once the object is created then we are all sort sorted right then the next thing which we will require to create is our document let's call it whatever our document is we're gonna put that document over here so the document which we had uh the document which we had was this right so this is the whole big document a uh, whole big article which talks about sundar pichai let's take a part of this so there is a limitation it takes some limited amount of data right so for now let's just start with very basic right so this is this is what it does right so here i i have created the document when you are doing uh, this part for the first time it will take some time to uh, download and set up everything okay but because i had already done that so that's why it uh, it completed quickly right so now uh, this article is also created next thing which comes is some object summarization object and here you need to provide your document which you just created over here and then you need to say maximum length of the uh, summary what is the maximum length of the summary that you want to keep i want to keep 100 then what is the minimum length you want to keep i want to keep minimum length let's say 30 okay and then uh, uh, there is one more para parameter which is called do sample so here i'm just going to set it to false right and let's let me just in uh, store it in an object called summary and let me just print the summary over here all right now let's just give it some time and let it uh, let it complete all right so for me it took approximately 15 seconds to complete it depends on the uh, machine capacity and then it is done right so like you can see here you have this comp you you got a summary of this whole big document same way if you want to do it for some sort of news that can also be done let's say here i am taking this uh, this patch of text okay let's take this patch of te text and let's go back to our jupiter over here and let's just delete this and put this okay and let's just try it again all right so like you can see over here we have the next summary created and ready so here we we had a big article over here so what i did is i took a patch of this article this is a news a random uh, ran random news from any of the news website that you can also find right and here you see we have this new particular news created over here right so it says gold future opened at this price and a decrease of this much of the amount we have seen etc right so like you can see how simple is it uh, how simple is it to create the summary now if you want to grab the text and if you want to check the length whether it is falling in between 100 to 30 or not so what you can do is you just say summary and then first element first we need to fetch this part okay this part uh, you see this is an array and uh, that is stored inside a list right so first we need to fetch that array and then after that what you can do is you can take put this key over here and now here you have the complete text next thing which we need to do is we need to split it uh, which is also called the tokenization right so we just did this now you can simply take a count of it right and then you get the length so you see it is 55 so it is falling between 100 to 30 all right so this is how uh, you can do the summarization of your document i would highly encourage you to try this at your own and do let me know into the comment section if it was difficult for you or simple for you and in case if you face any challenge put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then wish you good luck